Hey guys, check this out. This is an awesome looking airplane. This is Eclipson's newest model, the Model R. Uh, we're gonna try to get some really high speeds with this thing. It's got a really strong wing. I printed this out of PLA. It's got uh, carbon fiber rods in here and uh, it's super strong, awesome wing. But let's take it back to the workbench. I'll show you guys how to put this together and we'll have a little bit of flight later at the end. All right, well, before we can start assembling the Model R, we have to get it printed out. So to start out on the printer, I'm using the artillery sidewinder to print this out. Uh, this plane prints out really easy. Using the Eclipson method, you guys know from watching my channel, the Eclipson airplanes print out very easily. I mean, they print out fast too. I mean, it's like 48, 49 hours of continuous printing, uh, which is really fast. So get your parts on the printer, print everything out. Uh, all, all the settings that I use for my uh, for cutting my own parts in the description below. So if you guys want to check that out, get all the parts printed out, get them all laid out, and we're gonna start assembling this. And we'll start with working on the fuselage, and then we'll get the wing assembled after that. So I'll start by gluing these two parts of the fuselage together, so I can mask it off, and then I'll spray paint the windshield with Krylon spray paint. For gluing these parts together, I'm using Zappagap Medium CA glue, uh, and then I have Zip Kicker CA Accelerator that I use to spray on to accelerate the cure time for the glue. For the tail section, it uses 1.2 millimeter carbon fiber rods uh, to insert into the rear part of the fuselage here. Uh, and there's three of them, so I'll just add a little bit of glue to them and then insert them into the fuselage and then just slide the other parts onto the carbon fiber rods and glue it all together. For the last section of the fuselage, I'll just slide it onto the carbon fiber rod, measure how long it needed to stick out of the last part of the fuselage, and then just cut those to length, and I'll do that for all three of those. And then you see these guide pieces, add a little bit of glue to them, uh, glue them into that part of the fuselage, and then glue that last part uh, to the rest of the fuselage. To set up the tail wheel, we'll just insert the rim into the TPU tire, uh, and then we'll set this axis pin into the rudder fitting, and then we'll use 1.2 millimeter wire, bend a 90 degree angle at that. We'll cut that uh, to length to, so that it will fit into the bottom of the rudder, uh, and then we'll bend the shape into this uh, piece of wire so that way the wheel will slide into place, and then we'll bend a little uh, tab on the on that wire to hold the wheel on and we'll glue this into the last part of the fuselage. This is 1.2 millimeter steel wire with the Z-Bend on and I'll be using that for all the push rods for this plane. So we'll put that Z-Bend on, set the rudder in place, then this is a 1.2 millimeter carbon fiber rod and we'll just cut that to length and then we'll insert that top part of the rudder in place. To set up the elevator, we'll just glue on one side of the wingtip for the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, we'll take a two millimeter carbon fiber rod, we'll cut that to length, and then we'll insert that into the rear part of this fuselage here. Uh, and then we'll insert the right hand side of the elevator in place. And then we'll insert the other side of the elevator in place, and then we can glue the last uh, wingtip on for this uh, horizontal stabilizer. Now to set up the push rod, we'll use the elevator fitting and a 1.2 millimeter steel wire again, put a Z-bend on one end, insert that into the Bowden tube in the fuselage, and then we'll set this uh, elevator fitting into place on the Z-bend, and we'll insert this into that rear part of the fuselage there. Uh, and then we'll glue one half of the elevator to the fitting, and then we'll wait that till that dries. 
and then we'll do the same thing on the other side and then when it's all done it'll just look like this it's all connected and glued in place for this build I'll be using 9 gram metal gear servos I'll take the control horn and drill that out so that the uh, push rod connector can slide into this uh, control horn and then we'll put the nut on there, put a little bit of glue, hit that with the accelerator to cure it uh, and that'll hold that nut in place and then we'll uh, screw the servos onto the servo brackets and then we'll go ahead and grab the controller and bind up the, to the receiver and hook up the servos and then that way we can center the servos and once we have the set, servo centered we can hook up the uh, control horns on the servos, insert the set screw and then we'll glue these servo mounts into the fuselage and then we'll center up the elevator and the rudder and we'll put a little bit of Loctite on these uh, set screws and secure them in place on the pushrod adjusters and then we'll cut the pushrods to length. For the motor mount for this build, I printed this out of ABS. Uh, be sure to do that for this build uh, just because that motor will carry a lot more heat for this plane since we're going to be flying it at a lot higher speeds. Uh, so I printed out the ABS and then I just glue that in place and secure it with screws. Uh, and then we'll set up the canopy. So we'll, uh, these are 1.2 millimeter carbon fiber rods. We'll cut those to length and glue this together. And then we'll insert these magnets in place. I have links in the description to all the magnets and servos and receivers and everything I use in the description. So if you guys look for any of these parts, uh, I have them in the description below. I'm going to be trying out the newer like third generation motor uh, from Sunny Sky for this build. Uh, using this motor, I'll get an extra 300 grams of thrust. Uh, and it's only like $5 more than the original uh, first generation motor. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try this one out for a little bit more power for this plane. Uh, I set this up with an 8x6 prop uh, for the build and then as I, when I went to take it out for a flight I actually changed it to a 9x4.5 uh, prop for the maiden flight. So now we'll go ahead and insert the motor in place and then we'll make sure that we put a little bit of Loctite on the uh, screws when we secure that to the motor mount. For the ESC, there's a little part that you can print with uh, ABS, and that will uh, basically be as like a heat shield for the ESC when it gets warm. It won't like melt the side of the fuselage or something like that. So we'll print that out of ABS also. We'll put that Velcro on there, and then we'll glue that to the side of the fuselage. And then uh, we'll set that aside, and we'll start working on the wing. So again, uh, this is the center section of the wing. There are these guide pieces. So I printed out six of these. I put uh, three on the top, three on the bottom and then I just start gluing all the wing sections together. For the wing, it uses a six millimeter carbon fiber tube for the center section of the wing, so we'll glue that in place. Uh, and then there's two four millimeter carbon fiber tubes that will go uh, in the last section of the wing. So we'll glue this piece in place and then we will measure how long it needs to go into the last part there and then we'll just cut that amount off of the last part of the wing there and then uh, we can glue that last section on. And then this is the 4 millimeter carbon fiber tube so we'll just uh, do the same thing, we'll glue that in place and then we'll measure how long it needs to uh, go into the wing tip and then we'll cut that to length uh, for both sides. This airplane has a flap around system, so we use these axis pins and then these hinge systems. So you only need four of the hinge systems. I printed out a couple extra just to, if any of them failed on the print. Uh, so there's a, a basically a top and a bottom. There's the smaller tab goes on the top, and then the longer tab uh, goes on the on the bottom. Uh, so make sure when you're gluing these uh, flap around systems together uh, that they're oriented correctly. And then we're just going to add a little bit of glue to the section of the wing that they go into. Uh, slide that into the axis pin that we put into the center section of the wing and then uh, secure those in place. 
Uh, and then we'll put the last axis pin in the last part of the flap around there. We'll glue that wing tip in place and then that secures it all together. And now we're ready to hook up the servos. Uh, so we'll just use two nine gram servos again, grab our servo mounts and our servo covers and we'll start setting these up. So like we did with the rudder and the elevator servo, we're gonna to wanna to make sure we bind the controller to the receiver and uh, hook up the servo. So that way we can center the servo and then we'll hook up the control horns. Uh, and then we can feed the wires uh, through the wing. And you don't actually need any extensions or anything like that. Once you put the wing on the airplane, I'm just using extensions for now, uh, just for hooking all this up. I'm gonna use a Z-Bend on both ends of this. Uh, so we'll tape uh, the flap around in place, put a Z-Bend on one end and we'll mark uh, where the other Z-Bend needs to be located. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and make sure you put that uh, servo cover on first and then we'll uh, hinge that Z-Bend into the control horn and then we'll screw the servo brackets in place. Uh, do the same thing to the other side uh, and then we'll go ahead and test out the servos. This airplane has a really clean design for uh, securing the wing to the fuselage. We just use these anchor pieces. Uh, and glue in three millimeter uh, nuts into those anchor parts and then we'll uh, add glue to the fuselage, insert these anchors into the fuselage to make sure they dry all the way before you start putting screws in there to prevent any glue getting on the screws. I'll we'll go ahead and insert the servo wires into the fuselage, secure the wing in place, uh, and then we'll use three millimeter by 25 millimeter screws. I uh, have large heads on these uh, screws, but if you don't have a uh, large head on there, then you can use a washer to secure that wing in place too. Uh, and then we'll secure the servo wires to the receiver, and then we'll start working on the landing gear. So landing gear, uh, just put the TPU onto the rim, and then we'll glue the wheel pants together. There's a front and back, so we'll just glue those together. And then we'll use two millimeter steel wire, bend a 90 degree angle, and then cut that to length to fit into that landing gear fitting. Uh, and then we'll measure 85 millimeters, bend a 90 degree angle, and then uh, set that wheel pan on there and make sure it fits. And then we'll cut that wire to length. And then we'll glue the uh, landing gear fitting to the two millimeter wire and then glue that in place. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and insert the tire into place. And then to hold all that together, there's a cover that goes on this side. We just use screws and secure that in place. And then we'll finish this build off with a set of decals. And then uh, to set up the CG, we'll just go ahead and put a piece of Velcro into the fuselage here. I put kind of a long piece in there so I can change out different size batteries and everything. Uh, I flew it on the maiden flight with a three cell 2700 milliamp battery. Uh, right here I have a four cell 1500 uh, milliamp battery. It comes in about 908 grams. This plane just turned out so awesome and it's a fun plane to fly. It's really fast, uh, has a lot of speed potential if you guys like flying uh, really fast airplanes. I uh, definitely recommend building this airplane. It's really easy to put together, easy to print. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I, like I said, I have all the parts I use in the description. Also the settings to all the prints that I use for cutting my own G-code files uh, are in the description also. And uh, thank you guys again for watching the video. Dang, that thing was fast. Holy cow, that was cool. Very cool.
it flew really well. It was it was really fast, and uh, you could I was flying away way far away because it's just so much faster than anything else I'm used to flying. So it just travels a lot of ground really fast. So uh, it flies awesome. So make sure to check out my next video. I'll see you guys in the next build, and uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you guys can get notified when I put up new videos. All right, I'll see you guys.